So welcome to our lecture video series on engineering mechanics statics. So for this lecture video, we'll discuss about resultants of three-dimensional force systems. So in three-dimensional force system, we will discuss uh, two types of force system. We have the concurrent force system and the parallel force system. So for the for the first force system, we will discuss the concurrent force system. A uh, concurrent three-dimensional force system is a type of force system where all the forces intersect at a common point in a three-dimensional system or XYZ axis. So an example to that is in the figure below. So we have here uh, forces that are on a three that are three-dimensional and is intersecting at a common point which is at point O. Then if you want to get the resultant or the simplest form of this system which is composed of a single force only therefore there will be no coupled resultant so the components of these uh, forces is basically the summation of all the components also of the uh, original forces in the force system so in general you just simply apply vector addition to get the resultant of the components of the concurrent force system. So let's have here an example. So for the concurrent force system shown, uh, calculate the magnitude of forces FB, FC, and FD. If the resultant uh, is zero and the weight of the box shown is uh, 500 newtons. So to do that, uh, we know that the resultant is zero. Uh, resultant is zero, meaning uh, basically the three components of the resultant, which is Rx, Ry, and Rz, are also zero. So basically, there will be no resultant. So another term for this is equilibrium. So we have here the forces, which is shown concurrent at, uh, at joint A. So we just need to express the four forces in uh, vector form. So to do that, let's have uh, let's calculate for the vector notation of the forces. So let's start with FB. So for FB, we have FB times the unit vector. So the unit vector of FB is this one. We have negative three. Uh, negative 4 and positive uh, 8. So we have negative 3i and negative 4j then positive 8k. So that is square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 8 squared. So you just need to calculate that. So to do that, let's use our cal calculator. Square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 8 squared. So, let's start first with the first one. So for the I component, you just multiply FB. So, what will happen is we have negative 0 0.318 FB I. And we have, for the Y component, we have... 0 0.424 minus 0 0.424 FB J then we have for the uh, K component or Z component we have positive 0 0.848 FB K so this one right here is the X Y and uh, Z component of the forces. So let's start first with, uh, or oh, let's proceed first to the next force. So we have FC. So for FC, we have FC times the unit vector, direction of FC. So we have negative 3, positive 4, and positive 8. 
So basically we have the same values, we will get the same values of FB but the direction of Y is different because it is uh, positive 4. Uh, we have positive 4J and positive 8K. So we have square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 8 squared. So we will get a value of negative 0 0.318. Multiplying FC, we have FC times I. Then we have positive 0 0.424. F C J we have positive zero point eight four eight F C K. This will be the X component, the Y component, and the Z component. So for F D, obviously F D is already in the direction of the positive X axis, so there will be no Y and Z component. So for F D uh, we will have uh, FD times I. So obviously, it is there will be no Y and Z component, and the magnitude of the X component is FD already. Then we have for W, in vector form, we have 40 pounds directed to the downward, which is opposite to the positive Z axis, so that is negative 40K pounds. So this is x component and this one here is z component. So what we will do now is you add the components. So what will happen is this one. So we have the general formula is this. In vector form, we have r equals fb plus fc plus fd plus w. But what we will need, we can use the scalar formulation. When we just need to add all the x component and the y component and the c component. So let's start with x component. So we know that the resultant is, as I said earlier, uh, the resultant is 0. Meaning the components also are x, are y, and are z are all 0, equal to 0. So to do that, we have rx is 0. Then you sum up all the forces x, which is this one. So let's start for FB. We have negative 0 0.318 FB. Then for the second force is for FC. We have also negative 0 0.318 FC. Then for FD, we have FD, which is positive FD. So that is the first equation. The second equation is we sum up all forces y. So ry is 0 because there will be no resultant on the y-axis. Then we have, for fb, we have negative 0 0.424 fb. Then we have, uh, for fc, we have neg positive. 0 0.424 FC. Then for the other forces, FD and W, there will be no Y component. So this will be our second equation. And lastly, for RZ, which is summation forces Z, we have uh, 0, 0. The resultant is 0 RZ. Then we have 0 0.848. FB and we have also positive 0 0.848 FB then we will have for this one is there will be no other forces so we have negative 40k so this will be negative 40 so we can arrange this one what will happen is we have positive 40 and we have 0 0.848 if we transfer it to the other side, that's 0 0.848. This is FC, I believe, FC. So FC. This will be our third equation. So we have three equations uh, as shown in the, fig uh, in the solution. And we also have three unknowns, which is FB, FC, and FD. So we can calculate now for the unknowns.
So if we use our cal our calculator, solving for the unknowns. So we have for the first equation is negative 0.318 FB. The second is 0.318 FB again. I for FC. I, I, I and FD is one. Then equals zero. Then we have for the second equation negative 0.424 FB plus 0.424 FC. Then there will be no FD on the second equation. Equals zero. And the last equation is 0 0.848 FB plus 0 0.848 FC. There will be no D on the third equation. Then equals 40. So the answer will be for FB we have 23.585 this is pounds uh, for FC we have same answer 23.585 pounds then for FD we have 15 pounds so this will be our final answer which is being asked the problem determine the magnitude of the forces fb fc and fd so so in our in the in the presentation it is 23.6 so you can also give the answer of 23.585 so the next one next type of force system we're going to discuss is the parallel uh, force system which is shown here in the figure so as you can see we have three forces that are parallel to the z-axis and are located at certain points with coordinates example for this point we have y1 and x1 this point right here is located at x2 y2 and the, the third force is x3 y3 so basically all the forces are parallel to each other so the first thing you're gonna do is uh, get the equivalent force couple system so to do that is we have the force to get the force is we have to add all the forces uh, apply vector addition so you just simply add the values because all the forces are same in direction so you just add the magnitude itself and basically the direction is the same it's the same on the direction of the original forces in other problems there will be changes in the direction example for this one this, this will be upward this is upward and th this may be downward uh, this is still considered a parallel force system so what will happen is just apply a negative value uh, because it is opposing in the positive direction of the, that particular axis then to get the couple resultant you just apply summation moment o because o is what we will choose as the point for the location of the equivalent force couple system so r1 r2 and r3 there is this one so this is r1 uh, this will be this one is r2 uh, basically this is r3 so basically r1 here is x1 i plus y1 j and we have r2 is x2 i plus y2 j and so on and so forth so that is summation moment o then if this is not yet the resultant because it is composed of a pair of columns uh, uh, col couples and couple and force or equivalent force couple system that is perpendicular to each other remember that there will be no in this particular figure the couple has only uh, x and y components there will be no z component because the forces are parallel to the z axis so there will be no moment effect on z axis so basically this is a two dimensional couple in x and y direction so we can replace this system because this is perpendicular to each other we can replace this to a single force which is not located in point o so to do that you just calculate r to calculate r uh, we just apply uh, CR is equals to R cross uh, R, this one right here. So R here is this one because we already have R uh, which is 
you just add these components and we already have the coupled resultant which is uh, using this formula right here so this is a formula that I said to get the value of R if you want to use the scalar approach this one is the more easier approach for me uh, you just need uh, to have a common uh, moment you just basically sum up moment here and sum up moment here we just need no don't need to pass through this figure and we just equate example summation moment x in this figure summation moment x which is this one uh, we have f1 y1 f2 y2 f3 y3 so this one right here is equals to r times y which is this one then for this for the second one summation moment moment y this also is summation moment y uh, you just equate the two so as you can see the uh, if we follow the right hand rule this is the right hand rule so f1 f2 and f3 is opposing to the moment so that will be negative negative f1 times x1 f2 times x2 f3 times x3 then this one right here is r times x r times x so that is an easier way to get x y directly because mostly this these values right here are given already so that's another way so that you don't ne need to get the uh, you don't need to calculate the uh, couple resultant or the equivalent force couple system so let's have an example here so for the parallel force system in the figure it consists of three forces and a 1250 newton meter couple so determine the resultant and show it on a sketch of the coordinate system so uh, the question here is what is the resultant if we have three parallel forces and a couple so this is the twist here because this is not composed of forces only it also composed a couple so as you can see the couple is lying on the xy plane so meaning it has an x and y component so as you can see this is 90 degrees so what will happen is this one so this is 1 to 50 so the component this is the component this is 90 degrees so this is the y component because this is the y uh, this is the positive y axis i believe and this is the positive x axis in the figure so uh, what will happen is we check the slope of this of this couple so this is 4 and 3 so this will be 3 and 4 so what will happen is 1 to 50 the x component of 1 to 5 of the 1 to 50 couple is basically in the direction of the 4 meters this is a 3 4 5 triangle uh, so this is 1 to 50 uh, 4 over 5 so this is and cy is 1 to 50 both are negative because there are opposing in the direction example this one is negative x and this one right here is negative y negative 1 to 50 times 3 fifths so if we calculate that 1 to 50 times 4 over 5 so we have here 1000 negative 1000 so this is 1000 Oh, I believe this is 1,000 because it is x. Then we have 3 fifths is it's 750. So we have negative 750 newton meter. This is newton meter. So this is 750 newton meter. So this is cy and this is cx. Both are negative because it is opposing in the direction of the x and y axis for both the components so in this way we can add these couples in the if we sum up moments in x and y axis so 
Let's do that. So first is we calculate first the resultant, which is the summation of all forces. So we have, of course, we will have in the z direction, z direction. So we have resultant is equals to uh, we have one hundred newtons upward, which is this one, two hundred newtons downward, uh, minus two hundred. Then we have 300 newtons upward, so plus 300. So the answer here is 400 minus 200 is 200 newtons. So positive meaning it is upward. So if you want vector form, it is 200 k newton. So this is the vector notation. Next is we locate the resultant. If you want to locate the resultant, This is Z, uh, Y, and X. So assuming this is the resultant, R, which is, we know that it is 200 newtons. So you want to get the, the X, or I believe this is Y, Y and X component. So we sum up moment, example, we sum up moment at X axis. So this is X axis. Uh, if we sum up moment there, we will have, remember that this one right here is 750, and this one right here is uh, 1000, negative. So sum up moment at, uh, summation moment at x, uh, obviously if we equate it in the resultant, we have r times y, this one right here, r times y, this is the summation moment of x. So if we check in the original figure we have 200 and 100 newton is passing through the x-axis so it is not included in the solution so what will be included is the 300 newtons so we have 300 newtons positive because it is same direction or rotation in the x-axis here which is it will rotate the x-axis in this direction so 300 newtons the distance from 300 newtons to the x-axis is 6 meters then we have, also we already have nothing to add. Uh, the other one is the 100 Newton couple. So this is minus 100, or 1000 I mean, 1000 Newton. is equals to R is 200 times Y. So we will get the value of Y. So Y there is... Uh, 4 meters. So this one right here is 4 meters. So to get x, the value of x, summation moment y is equals to r times x. Because if you moment here, uh, this one right here, summation moment, the y-axis, you have negative r times x. Because r is opposing, because it is rotating in this direction along the x y-axis. So if we rotate, uh, we try to check this answer. So 100 newton will not be included because it is passing through the y-axis. 200 newton is included because uh, it has a moment effect in y-axis and it is positive. So 200, distance of 200 newtons in the y-axis is this one, which is 3. 300 newtons is upward, so it is negative in the direction of the moment about y-axis, so it is negative 300. The distance is this one, uh, 2 meters. Then we have negative 750 uh, new uh, newtons meter is equals to uh, negative r is 200 times x. So we will have the value of x. So x is equals to three point seventy five meters. So the answer here is x equals three point seventy five meters. Well this is y. So our final answer is this one. Final answer is the resultant is a 200 newton force uh, 
positive z direction or basically in vector form r equals 200 k newtons passing through uh, passing through point uh, if we try to write the coordinates 3.75 meters times 4 meters uh, 0 because this is the point the coordinate of that point 3.75 times 4 times 0 or shall we say the location of the point where it passes through the plate so this will be our final answer if you want to try to solve this into into a shall we say a uh, three-dimensional approach so if we try to do that uh, we already have the value of r which is in vector form is 200 k newtons so we wa just want to get the coupled resultant called summation moment o so this one right here will be if we try to solve we have if we try if we try to sum up moment at all this one right here will not be included because it passes through point o so let's start here so the position vector r is this one so that is 3i uh, then we cross because the formula is summation of r cross f so r is 3i the force is 200 newtons downward or 200 negative 200 k so next one is uh, this one is the another R, uh, R O A. This is R O B. So this one here is R O A. So plus because we have summation, R O B is uh, we have two I plus six K, six J I believe six J. Then we have cross, cross product, cross product of 300k. Then we have plus, the couple here, we know that this is uh, 1000, negative 1000i. Then we have negative 750j. So plus negative 1000 i minus 750 j so that's what that's what will be our solution r o b you can do the matrix form but we can directly solve this uh, couple resultant 3 remember that i and k uh, if you apply cross product the answer will be uh, negative j but since it is i and i and negative k so what will happen is positive j so we have uh, 600 3 times 2000 is 600 j this one is 2i times 300k so i times i cross k is uh, negative I believe it is negative negative J so that is 600 minus 600 J and this one right here 6J times 1 J and K is positive I so 6 times 300 is 1 8 1800 I believe so that is positive 1800 uh, I then minus 1000i then minus 750j so this one will cancel out so the resultant couple resultant is 800i minus 750j uh, newton meters so we just equate this to uh, r cross r so what will happen is something like this 800i minus 750j 
equals r which is we will write this in xi plus yj form cross r which is 200k so write it again 800i minus 750j i cross k is basically is negative j so we have 200 negative 200 x uh, j then we have y y j times 200 k or cross k j cross k is positive i so that is positive 200 y i so what will happen is we will combine like terms let's try first with 800 and 200 y so we have 800 equals 200 y so you can solve a value of y equals 4 meters and we will try negative 750 negative 750 j is equals to negative 200 x j so we will get an x of equals to 3.75 meters so you will get the same answer with this one 3.75 and 4 meters so that's the difference between the vector calculation and the this is the scalar calculation and the vector calculation so you just need to be expert in uh, vector multiplication so this will be our final answer so this is the point where uh, the coordinates is 3.75 4 and 0 so let us have some practice problems so the first problem is a parallel force system so replace the loading shown by an equivalent single resultant force and specify the x and y coordinates of its line of, line of action passing through the plate. The answer to this problem is So next problem is a concurrent force system. So we have here in the figure the magnitudes of the three forces acting on the plate are T1 100 kilonewton, T2 equals 80 kilonewton, and T3 equals 50 kilonewton. Replace this force with a single equivalent force R, and also find the coordinates of the point where R, which is the resultant force, intersects the, the plate. So the answer to this problem is So thank you for listening to this video and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos to come.